For number two, subtracting and adding fractions, it's all about getting a common denominator. So 5, 10, and 20, they can all divide into 20. So 20 would be your common denominator. And here, you can see I've changed each of the fractions into an equivalent fraction with the denominator 20. Here you multiply on top and bottom by 4. So the 2 is multiplied by 4 and the 5 is by 4, you get that. Here multiply on top and bottom by 2 and you'll get this. And just leave this one alone because it's already 20. And once the fractions have the same denominator, all you're going to be doing is adding and subtracting the tops. So 8 minus 14 plus 11 comes out to a total of 5. So 5 out of 20 is your answer, but you'll want to reduce the simplest form. Divide top and bottom by 5, you reduce it down to 1 fourth. For this one, uh, the idea is to plug a negative 10 in everywhere you see a G. Replace the letter with the number. Okay. And so I've done that over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah when you do a fine. negative 10 times a 9, you get negative 90. Thank you. Minus negative 90 Thank ends up being much. plus 90. So all together, you'll have 100 plus 90 plus what? 191. For this one, we have a long formula, and you got to plug the B, the S, and the D in where they belong. So I've done that in this line, 3 for B, 2.5 for D, and uh, 6 for S. So square the first two things, you'll get those numbers. Make sure you add the parentheses first for 5.5. <laughs> and then on the next line, I've copied everything down and I've just done this last 5.5 times 6 gives me 33. So now continue to reduce inside the parentheses, or the brackets, but they're, they're like parentheses. Reduce inside first. You get 48.25 and now that it's reduced we can multiply by pi on the outside. Many calculators have a pi key or online calculators do. Um, You can also try to type in the first decimals of pi. So if you didn't have a calculator with the pi key, you could type in this for pi. And when you do the multiplication then, you'll get 151.6. And the idea on this one is to simplify by combining like terms. And all that means is we can put all the x's together and instead of having three separate terms with x, we'll just have one term with x. And if there were more y's, we would do the same with y, but there's just one term with y already, so y is actually done. But we have three terms with x, so to combine those, we just add and subtract the coefficient, the number in front. So we had eight x's, and we're going to add two more x's, so that gives us up to ten x's. So I've combined those two and then combined the 9. 8 plus 2 gave me 10 minus the 9. That leaves me just with 1x plus 8y. So that would be your final answer. Now, a lot of times we don't write the 1, so this would also be a great way to write the answer. It's actually the preferred way. Uh, but yeah, just combine the like terms, add the numbers up. 8 plus 2 is 10 of them. Minus 9 leaves me with 1x and 8y.